Let's talk Tanya for the 11th of Elul. In yesterday's Tanya, we finished explaining that there are two different types of kindness. There are the kindness that we do, which is a result of our natural inborn kindness that we have because we have a Jewish soul. And then there is when we push ourselves and go beyond our comfort zone, and we do kindness more than that which comes natural to us, and more, that which, uh, more than the natural kindness with which we are born with calls for. And with that information, let us uh, now go back to the opening verse, the opening Pasuk of this chapter in Tanya. So the Pasuk was, V'hoya ma'isa ha'tzedaka shalom, v'avedas ha'tzedaka hashkeit u'betach ad o'lam. Which means that the act of tzedaka results in peace, and the service of tzedaka results in security and tranquility, which lasts forever. And we, at the time, when we learned this, we asked, what is the difference between the act of tzedaka and the service of tzedaka? What is the difference between um, peace and tranquility and security? But now we're equipped to answer these questions. As we explained, when we give tzedakah, we bring down a tremendous flow of divine energy into this world, which creates peace. And most importantly, as we explained, we're talking about internal peace. However, the Pasuk says there are two different types of tzedakah, which result in two different types of peace. The first one is v'haya ma'isa ha We're talking about the act of tzedakah. An act um, describes something which happens, something which exists already. And that is a reference to the kindness that we have within us. We didn't work for it. It's there. It's done. And when we give tzedakah based on ma'isa ha based on our inborn nature, so the result is shalom, the result is peace. Um, the result is peace, which will happen when Mashiach comes collectively through all the tzedakah that we give throughout exile, and also the peace that we experience during davening. But then the Pasuk continues and says, But how about the service of tzedakah, the work of tzedakah? This is not talking about a tzedakah which is natural. This is not talking about a tzedakah which is um, done from a place of our comfort zone. But when we have to work, we have to exert ourselves to give more than we feel comfortable with, the result of that is hashkeit betach, tranquility and security ad oilam, which lasts forever, which means that the peace that we experience during davening is not going to go away after davening. If we're only doing ma'isa ha if we're only giving staka in a natural way, then during davening we experience that internal tranquility and peace, but after davening, the war breaks out once again between our godly soul and our animal soul. But if we exert, our, we exert ourselves and give more than that, then we are assured, we are assured that actually that peace, that state of inner tranquility will last even after davening. And why is that? Because here's a rule. The Rebbe talks about this in Tanya in chapter 27, which means that when we suppress the sitar achra, the klipa, when we have to work hard to, uh, to smash the klipa within us, that causes a tremendous and very, very lofty revelation of godliness in this world. Because it is such a, such a greater revelation, therefore the peace that results from that revelation is one that is a lasting peace. Once again over here, we have the Alter Rebbe incentivizing his chassidim to give tzedakah, to give charity, for what? For spiritual purposes, the understanding that through giving charity, but not only giving charity, but giving charity above and beyond that which comes natural, we are assured of internal peace in our battle against the animal soul. With this, we have concluded chapter 12 of Yigar Sakhoidesh tomorrow. We start a new chapter, chapter 13, once again on the topic of tzedakah.